In this video, I'll show you how we can control our Mac and our iPad using the same keyboard and the same mouse. Hi guys, my name is Marlon Ceballos and in this video I'll show you how we can control our Mac and our iPad. In fact, we can control several Macs and several iPads with one single mouse and one single keyboard using Universal Control. Universal Control is a great function announced by Apple in the last keynote and now we can use that amazing feature. Let's start. Before you use Universal Control, we need to take in account several requirements. That are the requirement for our computer or our iPad, MacBook 2016 or later, for example, MacBook Air 2018 or later, and so on. That are the requirements. You can check out the information. Also, each device must be signed with the same Apple ID the user and the password that we can use for use different services for Apple. Each device must be within 10 meters, but it's better to use a shorter distance. Also, each device need be activate that feature, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and handle. If we meet the different requirements, now we can activate the function universal control. In the system preference, I'll go to display option and I'm going to click universal control button. In this window, we can see three check boxes. The first one activate the function universal control. The second one allows to activate different devices, push our mouse to the edge of the displays and the third options allows to reconnect devices when that uh, devices are close to our Mac. So I already activate these options. You need activate this option the first time. And now in the iPad, I'll go to settings, general, airplay and handoff. And we need to activate two options, handoff and activate the second one, cursors and keyboard. I already activate that functions in my Mac and, and my iPad. After activate the function in my Mac and my iPad, I can use that function. I, I can activate different devices. For example, in this moment, I'm controlling my Mac with this mouse, but I'm gonna drag my mouse to the left of the screen. And now, we can see the bar in the right of the screen of my iPad. That means the function is ready for activate. Drag to the left. And now this little dot means I'm controlling the iPad with the same mouse. Of course, I can control my Mac. For example, drag to the right, drag to the left, the iPad, drag to the right, the Mac and so on. In my iPad, I'm gonna open, for example, one application, Safari, for example, click in this field. I'm gonna search something, for example, Photoshop, enter, and the keyboard is working, the mouse is working. When I have opened an application, if I drag the mouse to the bottom of the screen, this is the dock. I can activate the dock, drag the mouse to the bottom of the screen of the iPad. If I drag again to bottom, then I can go to the home screen. And in the home screen, if I drag the mouse to the bottom, I can activate the application switcher. Now, I'm gonna open an application, for example, Pages. I'm gonna create a new document. I'm gonna open that document. And in the Mac, I'm gonna search for an image. And I'm gonna drag 
that image over the iPad screen. I'm gonna release and as you can see, we can drag elements between different screen or different devices. Okay. In my Mac, I'm going to open system preference, displays, and when I activate other devices, we can see the different screens in this window. In this case, I have my MacBook Pro and my iPad, and I can control these devices or this screen. I can drag, for example, the iPad screen to the right. Then, if I drag the mouse to the left of the Mac screen, the function doesn't activate because I change this order. So, if I need to activate my iPad, I need to drag the mouse to the right. For example, now I'm controlling the iPad screen. I'm gonna to change again this order because I like, I prefer this order. And finally, I can disable this function or disconnect devices. How? If I need to disconnect the iPad from universal control, we simply put the device in a sleep mode. And in the Mac, we can click this icon and click the name of the device that I want to disconnect. For example, one click and the device iPad is disconnect of the universal control function. I'm gonna activate the device again, drag to the left. I'm working in the iPad and I want to disconnect again the iPad. So in the system preference, click in display option and in this menu, I can select the device that I want to disconnect. For example, click and the iPad is already disconnect. And this is it. This is Universal Control. I love the feature. If you like this video, like it. Subscribe if you want. And thank you for watching this video.